Hello everyone and welcome to the pre-first hour hour? I I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. But today we'll be playing The Outer Wilds, and I've been looking at this game for a while. Apparently it's about like exploring a planet in a 22 minute time loop. So I'm not really sure how it works. I know that at the end, things like the, the sun supernovas, and that's how you know you're done or something. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I've been intrigued by this game for a while, and you can find it, well, right here. So throughout this, you're going to be hearing a lot of my thoughts and my opinions on the game, or like what I like, what I don't. And then on Thursday, I will be doing a full out review of the game where I talk about the first couple hours and my impressions. And, you know, if you're interested, you can find me on Twitch or Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, the usuals, all that stuff right there where you get to see my lovely face. And I hope that you will consider joining. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's just go for it. Now, does this generate a world? I'm not entirely sure. Is some like it might just throw you in there or it might just. I just not. I don't really know. Oh, okay. X to wake up, not X to doubt. What is that in the sky? Looks like a ship. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right. Wait, no, 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 no. I almost burnt it. Okay, ready? Toss, replace. New marshmallow. I'm gonna do this right. All right, this is the best game ever. I haven't even started playing yet. And we're already like, we're already making marshmallow. No! You know what? You know what? That's eatable. Oh, that sounds so crunchy. Let's try. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I. This is the best game ever. No! Ah. We beat a schmo, but like. I don't know, let's roast the schmo from over here. This is the best. I can't believe I'm roasting a marshmallow in space. With Glorpy McGlorp with Glorbax beside me. I'm gonna call him Glorbax. Look at it! It's kinda smoking a little bit. We're, we're keeping it, we're keeping it cool. We're keeping it clean. We're keeping it good. Oh, there's a little bit of smoke coming off it. We're doing alright. Alright. Look. I haven't even gotten to like look around and experience the game yet, but I am just thrilled to know that I can roast a marshmallow at the start of the game. I wonder if you could spend the whole 22 minute time loop just roasting marshmallows. You think that's possible? That's right. Look at that. I made the perfect marshmallow. Hell yes. Game rewards me by continuing. Wait, am I? Am I? I a Glorbax? I am a Glorbax. Glorbax is not the, the canon name, by the way. This is just what I'm going. Oh, what the? So you crouch a little bit before you jump and then you jump? Dang. Um, all right. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta adjust the, the graphics here a little bit. Seems to be a little wow. Okay. Uh, texture quality. Look at all this stuff. Gamma, dithering, V-Sync. Uh. Get out of here. V sync is no bueno. We don't we don't V sync in this house, okay? That's just not how we do it. It's it's not. It can't be. Uh, you know, I should probably go down here and we can turn on the anti aliasing. We can turn on the anti aliasing quality a little bit. Shout out quality we can bring to high and boom. That's simple. Look, just like that. Just like that, we're running a little better. Requires launch codes. To what? Launch what? Is that a nuclear missile? What about everything up there? I guess I should look around, huh? If I only have 22 minutes, I should probably... I should probably look around. But I really don't know what's happening. Oh, hello. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're the bet you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the lunch. Are you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh I hear you and Slate beefed up a model ship. Oh, can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Ooh. <laughs> we like to thrust. 
Uh, Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Fly model ship. Um. Oh, God. I fixed it. Oh, there's down thrusters. There's up thrusters. Uh, I'm not good at what I do. Uh, 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 I know what I'm doing. Oh, good. Up, down, horizontal, horizontal thrusts, left and right stick. Okay. But if I, oh God, no! Oh! I am, oh boy, I am not gonna be, look at my running animation. I'm like T-pose, like flip-flopping. I give it this though, it's pretty. I mean, it looks like uh, the Unreal Engine. Like that's, that's what I have to open with. It looks like the Unreal Engine. And that's not a bad thing, but the Unreal Engine doesn't really look like anything special. I guess if you guys like, you know what I mean? Like this looks like an Unreal Engine game. It is very clearly something from the Unreal Engine. That's not a bad thing. It just doesn't look. These characters look original though. I like how they look. Hey, oh, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us. Ooh. I'm only seeking adventure among the star. One star, actually. The other stars are too far away. Ah, wow. Another metaphor ruined the name of scientific accuracy. F to pay respects. Thanks, Porphy. Like, yeah, it it looks fine. The colors, the color palette's nice. It's kind of, and I, this is only one planet, right? I'm sure other planets look different. But, uh, hello, Rutile. I told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Oh, good. Did I just bleep? I think I just bleeped. I just muted my mic to, um, because I had to cough, and I think I hit the bleep button, so it went boop. I have a bleep button on my thing, and it uh, it's right under my mute button, so sometimes I hit both. The pilot sees my pioneering astronaut Feldspar, and all that remain. Oh, poor guy. Oh, hello. Is that a portal gun? <laughs> Outer Wilds Ventures. Um. You know, while I'm here, this, like, this has been on the list f oh, for a while. Like, I've wanted to try this out. It's been a long time, and I just haven't played it. Okay, this guy looks like that guy. And I mean, like, exactly. It's Lodge Day. Gonna miss you. Aw, oh, you. Nice try. We know you have it out for that tree. No, I just think it's in the way, and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. You think it has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Oh, definitely not you, Marl. No, sir. Uh-uh. Hello. Good night. Nice. Nays. Hello there, space cadet. You're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. Um. Just saying hi before I leave. I don't want to talk to you. Let me, let me go launch into space. Like, I don't care about you. Okay, I might care about you a little bit because you're wearing a cool hat, but okay. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. She wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine wouldn't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Wow. Can we use your signal scope? Uh, sure. Here are the rules. Galena and me hide. We'll hide with these radios, and you use your signal scope to find us. The last one to be found wins. Wait. Wait, legit? Wait, am I actually playing? Aha! <laughs> I know what's coming. Wait. What am I hearing? I need to go up? Yes. That one down? No, oh, that one's up. Wait. Ah! So I'm really... There's one. 
Hey! Little shitter. Come here. Hey! Oh, you found me! It, it really wasn't, though. Look, kid, it, it really wasn't a good spot. He's like, this was such a good spot! It's like, well, well, no. Well, no. Not at all, actually. I'm assuming... Aha! I won? I'm happy! Thanks for playing with us. Oh, why are you whispering? Well, that was fun. I'm gonna go into space now. And you can play music. I'm gonna really, really try and figure out how to play this. So the reason this show is called The First Hour, I guess, even though I may play for more than an hour, um, it's, it's to accurately represent what could be someone's first hour, you know what I mean? Some people like to plow through games, they like to go just absolutely insane, they like to go in, go deep, go hard, <laughs> and, um... And really just like speed through a game where some people like to sit down. They like to talk to every NPC. They like to learn. They like to get into the lore. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like to hear what they have to say, but I also like to um, really just experience the game um, in really, I guess, unique in unique ways. Like if, if dialogue's boring, I'm probably going to skip it. That's, that's a sheer sign. If I'm skipping dialogue, it means I'm probably kind of bored with it. Um, of the dialogue. I do that in The Witcher sometimes. I'm like, too much talking. I want to go game. I want to quest. Or a uh, Persona, I do it sometimes too, or I'll just read the subtitles first. North Young Bark Crater. Northwest Geyser Mountains. So is this just like a compass, basically? A how do I go to space, though? Do I need to get launch codes, or what? Hello. So, yeah, um... Initial impressions, it is pretty. It's a gentle color palette. It kind of, it's kind of like... It's not grayscale, but it's a little bit on the gray side of the spectrum of colors. And it's not, it's not empty, but it's... It's a little bit dark, um... And I don't mean dark in like terms of color, but like in thematics, it's kind of like dark in the sense of encouraging exploration. But I think that that part comes with the, uh... oh, he's missing an eye. Um, Broken piece of my, there's a satellite. If you're looking for a long lasting minute, zero G practice, head down to the lift. One repaired satellite coming up. Okay. Is this just Tutorial Island that basically I'm on right now? Tutorial Planet? I really don't know. I would love to, like, actually understand what's happening, though. Um. And hang on. Isn't this zero gravity? Shouldn't I be floating? Oh, it's low gravity. Interesting. Wait. Oh, what? Do I just... Do I just come down here and look around? Oh! Oh! I never would have noticed that. Okay, good to know. So, zero G cave. Huh? That didn't work. Oh! Hello. Uh, down, up thrust. Oh, interesting. So why is gravity lower when you get closer towards the center of the planet, I wonder? Like, is that like a simulation thing, I wonder? Or like, I, I guess I'm kind of confused. Um. Is this the satellite? Press to lock a- oh. Match velocity. Okay. 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 Matching. I- oh, hold- oh, hold A. Velocity matched. Now what? Uh. Now what? Uh, horizontal thrust. Roll. Hold LB? What am I supposed to do? Oh, maybe I need to get closer. There we go. I just need to get closer. Ow! Oh, well, that... That's easy. Okay. Okay. So now we need to... Left and right... It, the controllers aren't... The controls aren't confusing. It's just a little... A little awkward. 
Press match velocity. Hold up right here. We'll repair the satellite node. Uh, see, I got, there's, I know this doesn't feel very in depth, like in terms of repairing and other things, but I kind of appreciate that. Uh, what, what's something like that? Uh, Subnautica does that really well. If you've played Subnautica, if you haven't, I highly recommend you do. But um, it's very much, it's simple. Like, you know, you're doing things, but you're just holding a button. It's quick. It happens. In Subnautica, it's very much like quick building, uh, quick. It's all about speed. And I'm okay with that. Like, that's kind of a nice feat of all of that. So wait, do I just, oh, wait, up, uh, up. So wait, do I just leave? Is this how I do it? And then we come through here. This is the room I started in, I believe. Oh yeah, okay. And then we just get out of the suit. Can I get out of the suit? I can't get out of the suit. Maybe I can just climb back up. Ah, okay, yeah. We're out of the suit. So, th yeah, this is Tutorial Planet. I'm going to see if I can get off Tutorial Planet. Because Tutorial, like, tutorials don't need to be an hour and some long. The best games, in my humble opinion. Um, uh, so, go get the launch. Oh, okay. Launch codes from the observatory. Okay. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Observatory. This way. Is that the... That kind of looks like an observatory. <laughs> But yeah, I guess what I'm trying to like get at here is that games shouldn't have these like tutorials are fine, but I'd like to see them immersed in the gameplay a little bit. Um, I've seen it done really well in games like uh, Spider-Man, for example, or Wild's Ventures. Oh, Spider-Man does it really well. It's just like, hey, this is how you attack. Do some test combos. Go and go and then just start killing or killing, I guess doesn't really kill, but this thing, you be able to translate no my text you want anywhere you are. Okay. So is this like a universal language? I'm excited. You've been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to believe all the trainings paid off. I'm just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're done, but seriously, you've got to see this statue. It's an amazing find. Ah, fine. I'll look at the statue. It look, it looks like a floating goat. It looks like a three-eyed goat with floating hair. The remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Interesting. It's been found on almost every planet in the solar system. We still have no idea what species it came from or what happened to them. Interesting. Damn. So, like, do I just get to go outer space sightseeing? Like, oh, what's happening here? I guess I'm just gonna like move around. View map. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay, so I can zoom in. I can look around. Is that a comet? It's doing something. Yeah, oh, that's cool. It's a cool map. Hornfields. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Nice. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan when you're once you're in space? Um, I want to go somewhere where no one's gone before. That's true. I like it. Y'all have plenty of options to choose from. No one ever has ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps he'll be the first. Should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. Oh. I'm ready to get off this rock. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Good luck. Perfect. That's what I like to see. So let's see here. I need to go back to the, uh, that place. This is not the way I came. I need to get back to the ship so that I can go and launch into space. Uh, excuse? Huh? Um...
What? Ah? Yabba? Yabba baba? What the f what was that? What what just what just but Ha? Huh? What just happened? Wait, what? Okay. That's fine. I get we're just not gonna talk about it. I I guess we're just gonna go. I'm gonna Did you get the oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa. The statue doing what? So it opened, its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? No, I mean like some crap. What? It's, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch like medically? No, that statue is definitely weird. Okay. And I guess maybe it did, but why? Ornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but the Gabbro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they could tell you more. Okay. Now, I'm really jealous that you're going into space. Wait, so he was like, yo, I I'm nervous that you're... Are you okay to fly medically? And you're like, yeah, he's like, okay, fine. All right, sure. Okay. That's fine. He just totally contends. He's like, yep, you're good. Fly away. Hasta la vista. See you on the other side. Have a good day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I don't know, man. Have a good time. Oh, it's cowpoke. It's my cowpoke poke buddy. The soundtrack is really nice, though. Uh, you know what? A lot of people say that, like, audio is not important. To those people, I say you are so unbelievably wrong. Like, audio makes or breaks. And people don't realize that, but the audio is arguably one of the most important parts of a game. And this soundtrack is very nice. It it, it 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 lets me know that I'm about to go on an adventure and that it's very open. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very... It's very... Appropriate? Um... Do I have to go here? I ha yeah, okay, I have to go. Rumor mode? I don't know what that means. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Also, says Gabra went to Giant Deep to try and learn more about the... I guess I should go there, because they want me to learn about the statues and other... Oh, here's how we fly. Buckle up. Uh, view map. You are here. To lock on? Oh, okay. Uh... Lock on to Giants Deep. And we shall lift off. Wait, lift off camera? Oh, wait, do I? Oh, no. Do I actually have to? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I actually have to fly. Oh, God. I have to actually fly and do stuff. Okay. Oh. 24 kilometers? Uh, yeah. I, uh... I uh, don't think that's how that works. To be frank, game. Can't say that I, I think that's how it works. 20 kilometers. Yeah, okay. Aligning flight trajectory. Okay. Align. I turn on autopilot. We're not, we're not getting auto. Wait. How does this work? Is it lining me up to just like go straight at the planet in its trajectory? So that I land at the part? I don't understand. Um... So that I land at the right part of the planet. Huh. Okay, well, at least autopilot's here, because that'll help. Oh. Okay, this is cool. I like autopilot. See, the thing with no... Like, uh, I guess, like, the closest game I can compare this to is No Man's Sky, obviously. It's a lot, uh... Ah! So wait, how do I level out? How do I level out? Uh, I can't tell like what's what here. Is this the planet? Do I need to go in here or am I gonna die? Okay. This is interesting. We are underwater. 
I think. Wait. So what is this? Oh. Why is the planet so small? Oh. We did it. I made it. <laughs> I don't think that was the way to do it, but I did it. Am I... Oh. Oops. Um. Is this, is this the end? Did I, did I die? What's it doing? That must be an acid trip. Oh. Wait. Huh? So what, do I just... Are you kidding? Uh... What? No way, I have to... What? Hang on, hang on a sec. I have several questions. But first off, why the hell am I back here? Okay, okay, hang on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's, no, I don't like that. I don't like games where I have to come back and start things. But I guess this game is about a time loop. But why do I have to go all the way back to get the launch codes? Why can't I just go, can I like sprint at least? Is there a sprint option? There's a coast option, not a sprint option. Flashlight, um, buttons don't do anything. D-pad does nothing. A just makes you jump. Um, makes fun sounds if you mash the button, I guess. How does that work? And I have the launch. Why do I need the launch codes? I already have the launch codes. Like, can't I just memorize them? I don't understand what just happened. Look, it's the statue again. Wait, there's someone else in there now. Huh? Hello? The statue opened its eyes. Wait, so some things aren't... Um, I didn't mean to skip that. Was there something you needed? Tell me more about... So, wait, hold on. The statue opened its eyes. Oh, shoot, I didn't want to... Okay. So the statue opened its eyes and looked at me. And then reset itself. But it did... The statue was unaffected by the time... Warp that I just had? Question mark? Maybe? Yup. Like, I, I don't know. Where's the guy I need to talk to? Hey! Give me the codes. Again. Where are you? Hey! Hey! Where are the codes? Give them to me. Hey! Um, I'm excited. Great. Just here for the launch codes. Uh, I can't, freak, I'm trying to, is there a way to just like skip all the text? Of course not. Uh, nope, that was it. Okay, that's another thing is like when you accidentally get back into text, I'm a masher. Like I mash buttons, like just out of like the fact that I'm sitting here doing nothing. I just mash buttons. But look at this. Look at all this. I've got the launch codes. I should be good to leave. Maybe it'll let me go. But like, I don't know. I guess I need to see what's going on. Is this kind of like a roguelite kind of thing? You start again, you go out, you explore. If you die, you go again. Is that just the game? Like, I guess. Oh, enter launch code. There we go. Okay, so I can just go back up. Good to know. Um, It was kind of weird that it made me do that, but it's okay. Uh, all right, let's try that again, but this time, this time, we're gonna, what's that? Oh, hello. This time, we're gonna try again. Why? There's the sun. It's behind the sun. Ah! There it is. Wait, what's that? The interloper? 
How do I? You know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the planet. So I need to match the velocity of this somehow. I don't. I don't understand. Aligning flight. Tra I'm gonna let autopilot do its thing because I clearly don't understand. All right, autopilot, you show me how to do this because I I don't. I just don't. So wait, the trajectory is if I'm gonna is if I'm gonna make it to the destination. I don't I don't get it. And my ship can also go underground. Abort autopilot. Yeah, I'm gonna abort the autopilot. Slow down real hard or before I crash land into the planet. It's fine. Look at that. We're fine. So I need to look for land over this little humpty dump. Um, like right here. Can I land here? Can I land here? Can I like adjust the hue or the, the Y axis of myself a little bit here? Dang. So this has like, it's pretty. I'm intrigued by like the colors and the look and the style. Like that's a cool concept. Just a freaking water cyclone in the air. That's kind of neat. I like that. I made it. We're good enough. Oh, uh, we'll call it good. Okay. This time space suit. Don't forget the space suit and then open the hatch. Wait. Oh, it's double gravity. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool how it tells you like what the gravity is in your area. It must adjust to like, I don't know what this is. Oh, dang. Okay. Jetpack boosters. So the jetpack is basically, wait. Oh, oh no. Heavens. Wait, is that some of that lamb looking species? The Noika, Noida, Nabooboos. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, so... Wait, can I just... Ah? Huh? Can I just walk on this? Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, that's cool. I'm into that. Let me just look around here a little bit first. Hell yes. Pick up scroll. Drop scroll. Pick up scroll. Um... I don't know what that is. It looks like a ship. Oh. Ha. Insert the scroll. Ooh. Untranslated know my writing. Okay, hold RB. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon. Modules are and are ready and to send it to orbit or a giant steep for assembly. Huh. Aim translate? Oh. Um, okay, and then I hold. To all my friends here at Construction Yard, my gratitude to your tireless work. I, I kind of like how the translating thing works. If I know my brother Avins and his spells, I want to launch a probe with as much power as possible. Um, I'm worried the cannon will break under the strain. Possible. Are you going to... Uh, wait. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey and mallow as uh, Avens behave. Oh, as mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe can. Ah, nice. I propose we give Avens and mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Uh, our next step will be to send pri private private up to orbital probe can and install the probe tracking system. Okay. It's kind of neat how the translator works. That's that's cool. So wait, I can just I can just oh yeah, that's sweet. That's sick. That's sick. I like that. Look at this. Listen to the soundtrack here. It's kind of like got a Minecraft vibe to it, like in terms of just the simplicity and ambiance, but also. It's got a little bit more of that, like, um, brittle hollow projection stone. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I got one. 
it's got very much like that kind of inception hans zimmer kind of vibe to it which i like if you guys by the way if you haven't seen inception and it's 20 if you're watching this video at date of recording on september 15th of 2020 and you have not seen inception go see inception okay or go see inception just freaking open up the internet and watch inception all right just get a button get a hold of it and watch inception just do it just do it oh oxygen oh i have actual oxygen level okay good to know oh and there's a hue at or a y-axis that i can see here um on the screen but yeah get your butt over to butt watching town and watch inception okay i love inception it's a good movie any of you who disagree with me on that you're welcome to tell me why in the comments but but i love inception i i don't know what it is about inception it's just the right amount for me it's enough of a brain bender that i'm into it but enough of a film and entertainment like thing that i can actually just enjoy it oh insert okay inserting uh wait huh what the uh is that a oh my oh my what the heck? Where'd the, where did the gravity go? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hey, hey, hang on a second here. What the? Oh. I just crouched. I don't. I don't understand. So I died again. Wait. Ah! What do I do now? What the? What happened? Okay, something's blowing up in the sky. And that thing, whatever that is. I don't know. I mean, I... I guess I'm just going to go launch the ship. Away we go again. I, I, I really don't know what's happening. I have no clue. Like, all I can say is that, like, we're in space. We're doing space stuff, I guess. Uh, oh, I want to check the map. Can I track them? Construction void. Construction yard. Oh, probe. Wait, so do I just go back and, like, look more? So like, I, so I as a character, I as a character maintain my, uh, oh, free look. Oh, good to know. LB plus, uh, oh, okay. Also good to know. Oh, I, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. No, wait, up, 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 up. Get back into space. Get off this planet. Up, 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 space, launch, fly away. Actually, this planet looks kind of cool, too, actually. Huh? Okay, let's go find... Where is it? Over here. We're going to Giant's Deep again. Autopilot, do your thing. Because I don't know what I'm doing, Autopilot, so you do it for me. Like, it seems like the character knows what's going on. Um, I would like to understand something about what's going on at this point in the game, though. Um... Because the, the game can't expect me to stop and talk to every single NPC. So if it's laying out the plot of the game through every NPC, that is not how it should work. Because there's no reason for it to work that way. There's no reason to talk to all the NPCs. There's no encouragement to do that. There's no reward to do that. Um, but also there's other things along the lines of like, you know, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I need to fix that thing there in space. Huh? That's what I seem to be understanding. Autopilot complete cool now we go on to the ship and then we ah oh, okay i kind of understand how this works now so the the thing we're oh god why am i flying through this why am i flying through this why why oh why oh why am i flying through this um okay what was i saying the the, the like the thing you see like the, the the gyroscope i guess that you're seeing around um around me or like on the screen there is the direction that my propellers are firing 
Uh... Oh wait, did I end up in space? Oh. Okay, good to know. So I, I, I have to angle these this gyroscope thing to be the right way. I want to land here. I just got to figure out how. Got to tease it. Tease it. Tease it. Good. Ta-da! Okay. Now we get the suit. Suit up. Oop. Let's have a look. Uh... Wait, no. Let me out. Let me out again. Okay. Um... Now we're going to look around on this part. This same planet, different area. I saw the area we were at earlier, but I thought we'd try something new. I'm a little confused about this planet, though. Oh, God. Um, ow. Is it possible to make it back up? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I just walk around. <laughs> Okay, so we walk around, we look confused. Is there a way for me to lower gravity on this? Or am I going to be stuck with, like, those crazy old cyclones coming in and just walloping me on the ground? It seems like I can just do this, though. Like, I... Oh! Oh! Hello? Um... Is there a signal? Got some... Oh. Hello. Statue workshop. Oh. I guess I should figure out how to open that, huh? Wait. Photo mode? Launch scout? What is that? Did it take pictures? I have... Okay! Still don't know what's happening. Can I walk... Oh, yeah! I just walk up anything. I can just walk up anything, can I? Yeah, I can't walk up anything. I can walk off oh, on some something to do with the, these purple things. I guess these crystals change gravity for me. I'm not really sure. It's got I, it's got to be the crystals, but I just I guess I don't really know. trees detect. Oh, sweet. Thanks, oxygen. And then what's this? Wait, what is this? Oh, I see me. Hi, me. Okay, so the... Oh, hold RB. Oh, so the scout is like a... Like, a, it's it's like a, a look around kind of thing. But what if I come over here? What does this do? Nothing. Oh, there's writing. Let's read the writing. They are going to test the memory statues tonight. Memory statues. Interesting. Locke says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck into the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will see it, show us the test later. Okay. So as we come up... We jump over here, I guess. I... What is this? What is... What do these things do? Like, these look like they coincide with each other. But the the boosters ain't very helpful. I don't know. I guess I'll just move forward. It's a little weird understanding the map here, too. Like, I think the red is the North Pole and the bottom is the South Pole. Or vice versa, you know what I mean? But, like... Like, look, there's a freaking island over there that's moving? It's moving away from me? Like, the island has its own rotate... Like, land has its own rotation of sorts? Like, I don't understand. And then this. This is why I landed here. I noticed this unky pattern thing. But I, I I still don't know what's going on, and that's bugging me. I like to know why. Or at least give give me a purpose, you know? Other than giant sea friends, I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. Okay. Can I open this? Uh, put away. Signal scope? Oh, wait. We had a signal. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, we got a few signals going on here. 
One signal from 31,000 meters away. Wait, no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! What are we doing back up here? No, no, no! No, 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 no! So wait, how do- how do I stay on the ground here? Alright, am I gonna be okay? Okay, we're good. That was weird last time. Uh, but we're okay. I think I can make it across here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm curious though, like I'm genuinely intrigued by the world and what's happening. And I think it's kind of... Wait... Do these protect me from the Cyclones? Is that what this is for? Um... Maybe... That would make sense. I don't know, I just feel like there's not much of a per Oh yeah, right, I was checking out that maze thing before that happened. Okay, I gotta go check that out again, because I, I wasn't done there. I wasn't even close to done there. And I am also bad, so there's that. But if I fly up here, and we look around... Where's the maze thing? Over here. But honestly, though, as we look and find and discover, you know, I like the game. Like, I like I'm intrigued by this as I play. I'm like, huh, this is interesting. I want to learn about the game. I want to learn about the world. But I wish I had a purpose. I wish I, I knew what was happening. Or to quote Skilo, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a back and a six form faller. Sorry. Um, that's a really catchy song. But, um, I really... In case it was unclear that I don't know what I'm doing. Can I just... Am I gonna die if I do this? Nope. I did it right. We're good. So we said within the island, so maybe there's a way inside? Like, over there? But I don't know how to open it. It looks like I can go in, though. I just don't know how. Um. Do I have, like, back? You are here. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. That's a... So I've explored half the ship? I, I don't get it. That's the map. This is the frequency thing? Oh, wait. Statue workshop. So I need a way to get in there. That I don't know. Maybe I can open the door somehow. Or maybe there's like a thing. Maybe I just need to look around on the planet. I'm not sure. Let's climb back up and have another peek see just to see if I can open the door in any way. But it's not looking like that's going to be the case. I think it's cool, like, the, the adaptive gravity, though. That's fun. Each, like, little island on this planet has its own kind of, uh... I guess extra gravity feature. I I, I don't know. Like, oh, its own, its own gravitation. Which is kind of neat. Uh... And I can't even get myself off the ground. Even, like, with all the fuel. So that must be to stop the tornadoes. This is... Launch Scout. Oh! Ah! Interesting. Do we see any way in there? Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's something. Um... That's another thing. I'm looking for a door, or at least a way. Ah! There it is. That's the door. It seems to have its own kind of pattern on it. Can I do something with this that I'm not understanding? I, I, I guess I don't really know. Like... Maybe I can translate the text with it? Maybe that's possible? No. Okay. Uh... 
What about that over there? I like how this works. I just wait. So, the, the, okay, hang on. Hang on. So this to something to something to something. It's like a cycle. Does it open something? Oh, oh shoot. We're gonna we're gonna shoot up here in a second. Uh just we're here. Ah, okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, figured it out. But I still don't understand. Is that the sun? What is that? Can we oh we're coming back down. Interesting. That's interesting. That's a really interesting mechanic. Um, is I guess how all I can say about it. It's it's cool. It's neat. A okay, launch scout. I can't read those. Uh, there's gotta be a way in here. Oh, from underneath. Okay. So I need to fly in. Or something. So let's figure... Wait, so did I figure it out? Have I just been wandering around in circles doing nothing? But I solved the mystery? I don't know. And I wonder if I can go into my ship and get more fuel, like, from my... I would assume. You would think, right? I'll have to... Like, I, there's only one way to find out. What's the worst that happens? I die? That's happened a few times already, and I still don't know why. Ow. We're okay. Ah! I'm home! Return suit. Free suit. Oh, use med kit. Hello. Thank you. Let's jump back down. Uh, it's been about... I, I just paused there for a minute. My mom called. And it, so it's been about an hour since I was last recording, so I need to get my bearings back around me again. I know! I know! I know! Your, 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 your show, your unimmersive... It's unimmersive, blah, blah, blah. I know what I did. Um, I, now, if I remember right, I wanted to get off this little splotch here, but I wanted to go under. And if, Now, if I'm not understanding this correctly, I can. That is a thing I can do, I believe. I just don't know how. But I, oh, what if I go under here? Ah, there we go. See, see, look at that. Do we just fly up here? Can I land somewhere in here? Oh. Oh, we're sinking. Wait. I, oh, yeah, this is water. I suppose there could be scary things underwater that try to eat me. And I don't like being eaten or killed. I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. Can I really just land anywhere, though? Can I adjust the, like, hue, yaw, wah? I, I forget the word. I need to find a place to land. Um, over here. Looks just fine. Looks great. Looks great. This is it. Perfect. This is how we're getting out of the ship. All right, we're fine. Look, see, we landed. It's good. No complaints. No problems. No bearings. Um, you know, the huge. That's the best part about YouTube. Um, like, that's the best part about YouTube is that I can just call my mom. Oh. I look at this. And I drag it up. Ta-da! Look at that. I did it. Um, yeah, sorry. That's the best part about YouTube, though. Is like, if I'm recording and my mom calls, it's like, yo, I can answer. And it's not like I can't do that on stream, but it, it doesn't happen as often. By the way, um, yeah, I also stream. I guess I should mention that. Um, won't go into a big spiel, but I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 9 a.m. Uh, EST. For a few hours. Oh, uh, yes, another statue. Wait, is this my thing? Yara, would, ki would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest to proximity. Uh, you see how its eyes have opened? Now that tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to Ash Twin Project. Oh. This is extraordinary sculpting. He has done himself again, and now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage units within the Ash Twin. 
Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back with the to the corresponding Nomai. Interesting. That's cool. Um, so it goes from statue to this thing, from this thing to that thing to the Nomai, I guess. Like, is that a Nomai? And then from that back. So it's like a cycle. It's like a cycle of knowledge. I feel like we're going to get shot up into the air at some point. I'm just going to have to figure it out and roll with it. I'm intrigued. Oh, okay, so we pick up this. Insert that. Show me the... Ah, yes. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. Because you are. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be impossible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Exactly. Oh, this is my scout. I can I can pick it up. Whoa. Well, this is like a... Oh, okay. Uh, RB. I'm going to bring it back, my scout. Uh, now I need to find another one of those thingy mahoos. Oh, we're going up. I think. I think that's what it sounds like. I'll stand here. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna we're gonna go for a fly here in a second. Here it comes. Up we go. Whoosh! My poor ship. It's just floating away. Oh my god, my ship's gonna blow up. This is gonna be bad. My ship's just gonna crash and burn. I'm waiting for it. We're just gonna stand here and wait. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Did you know what? I can. So here's my initial impressions. I'm very intrigued by what this game has to offer. I'm intrigued by the, the layout, the world, the story, even though I don't know what the story is. And that's really bugging me, okay? That I have no idea what's going on. Not a clue. Not a clue. Except that I'm just here to go into space. That's all I know. I wish I had more than that, but I don't. Oh, another statue. Wait, I was already over there. Or was I? I like I have I have several questions. Can I swim as the player? Can I swim? I don't like the look of that. Look at those things. I don't like the look of them. They look mean. They look like they'll make an ouchie and I don't like ouchies. At least I'm out. So that's cool. Oh, oh my goodness. I've got an itch on my shoulder. Woof. But there should be another thing in here somewhere to put on to that statue thing, maybe. But there were a few other places where I was like um, in the level where I was supposed to look. I did that. I read that. Now I need to find that thing. I wish I could sprint. That would be nice. A sprinting mechanic in a game where a lot of walking is needed. A sprinting mechanic is always welcome. Maybe I just won't get it. But, uh, I need to get up there. Maybe I need to wait for the grab. It seems like I need to wait for the, the wind to pick up so that I can fly over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with my ship. But it seems like we're going to be launched up here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, here we go. I hope. I'm running out of oxygen. With three minutes of oxygen left? Oh, I should go into the ship. Uh-oh. 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 I don't like to be in the water. The water is scary. I am afraid of water. I don't want to be in there. Nope. 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 In case you guys didn't know, video game water, very scary to me. Like, terrifying. Really deep water in general, but like, in video games. Whoo! No thank you. And this reminds me of a cave in Subnautica. I mentioned Subnautica earlier. Um, because, like, you should play it, and it's really fun. But, 
oh god there's a structure in the game that's very similar to this like just this layout of like coming under the island to get into it oh god and i am scared i was scared i'm scared now even just thinking about it like something's gonna come from down there and attack me that is just bait that's bait that is death bait and i won't have it i won't have any of it i'm waiting for this tornado to pick up so i can fly over there to that side and i thought i heard the wind pick up the soundtrack's really cool though it's very surreal um come on come on wait can i i guess i can shoot the scout over oh wait gotta call it back so i can do this it's on the wall there's a tornado thing here there's text I need a scroll of sorts, I think, to insert a... I need a, to insert a scroll. So I guess I should look around for some... Maybe I can pick this up. Oh, I can pick it up. Whee! <laughs> oh. Huh? What just happened? What just... What just happened? Um... Are we in space? No. No, we are not. But it got real dark out. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. I gotta put it back. I don't know what that does, but. Whoa! I died? What happened? Ah! Uh -huh. I was just, but I was, I was, uh, I was just figuring out the mystery. Well, okay. All right, all right, we're back. Okay. Wow. Again, that that happened. I'm not sure what's happening here. I am going to roast another marshmallow, though. Eh. Okay. This seems like a good place for me to, to end it for now. Everybody, I want to thank you for watching and spending your time with me. I really, really appreciate, I guess, everybody who supports the show, everyone who watches and hangs out, and really just your thoughts and feedback, everything. If you like what you see, leave a comment below. If there's something you want me to try out in terms of games, you know, leave a comment below. Also, I would encourage you to uh, hit that subscribe button on the channel. It would mean the world to me if I could, you know, grow the audience and grow new friends. And I'm going to eat this marshmallow. Uh, but also, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, I'm also available on these social media platforms. And naturally, there will be links in the description below. Now, for a more structured review of the game up and coming, you'll want to check out uh, on Thursday on the channel... I will be doing the first hour, which is where I kind of go in depth about, you know, the first hour of the game, what I liked, what I didn't, uh, what you can expect in the first hour of the game and whether it's really worth your time. So thank you for watching and hanging out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out on Friday. You will see a bunch of new uh, thoughts and opinions on this game in a more structured form.